You're watching KPVM News 46. Weekend Review. With Deanna O'Donnell. And Jason Koblenz. Welcome to News 46's Week in Review, your number one source for local news. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Zach Fuentes in for Jason Koblenz this weekend. A candlelight vigil was held this past week in the parking lot of the Bob Rube Community Center for the victims of the Newtown, Connecticut shootings and their families. Yes, uh, it's been on my heart for quite some time, ever since I heard about the news of the children. And it personally bothered me because I've lost a son. And anytime you lose a child, it really should hit home. And I think that uh, the prayer vigil that we had was effective for this community because I think everybody at this time of year can kind of feel the parents and how they are feeling at this moment, their grief. And we just wanted to just extend our love to them. They may not know us, but I know prayer works. And I feel that in my heart, they'll know that they've heard those prayers. We are praying for the peace of those who have been left behind mothers and fathers, grandmothers, grandfathers, all of those who were affected by this senseless act. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, Lord. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Do you think this helps the community in coming together like this and sharing what feelings are going through all of us at this time? Yes, I really feel that the community as a whole, especially the Christian community, needs to come together more. And that's why we started the Fifth Sunday Community Sing so that we can bring people together here in Pahrump because it's getting late. Nobody knows this could have been our community. Uh, we could have lost some of our children here in Pahrump. So we need to really address these issues right now about coming together and it will help. It was just a little over a week ago that the shooting tragedy occurred in Newtown, Connecticut. KPVM-TV held their Walk 27 in honor of the tragedy that occurred at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Well, this is one of the reasons why I'm proud to work here at KPVM-TV is the participation that our station has in the community and in whole the state of Nevada and the country. Today, KPVM-TV participated in Walk 27, which is a walk in honor of the Sandy Hook Elementary School victims. 27 minutes of walking in memorial of the victims that died a week ago today. The Walk 27 Facebook page was put out there for the world to walk in honor of the 27 victims that died in Newtown, Connecticut. Ryan Muccio, our salesperson here, decided it would be a great idea for us to get the community to participate in this. The community has been suffering quite a bit after hearing about this horrific tragedy that occurred just across the country to a town about the size of Pahrump. I just want to send our condolences to everybody in Sandy Hook for their, their loss and know that people across the country are with you today. Um, we had approximately oh, over 100 people turn out this morning for a walk. With the help of a lot of people getting the word out there, including Ryan putting it on Facebook, Karen Jackson at K9 Radio helping with a promotional ad, and of course us putting it on our television station, a lot of people participated in this walk, even though it occurred at 6.30 this morning. Over 100 people showed up, Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue, Nye County Emergency Services, Nye County Sheriffs, and the Nye County Auxiliary all attended this this walk for 27 minutes down to Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza, where Sheldon Fetty from Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza provided breakfast to everyone. Before the walk began, we actually had a moment of silence up here at our studios. And then the walk began down the hill to Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza, where people decided that it'd be a good idea to send out a little message to the people in Newtown, Connecticut. We want to thank Ryan for putting this together and all the volunteers who helped out so much. It was definitely something that this town needed. We like to reach out as much as we can to whoever, wherever. That is something that we hold very dear to our hearts here in Pahrump. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. 
A man fatally shot a woman decorating for a children's Christmas party on Friday at a tiny church hall and killed two men elsewhere in rural central Pennsylvania township Friday morning before he was fatally shot in a gunfight with a state trooper. The shootings began in Frankstown Township about 9 a.m., and investigators were processing five crime scenes within about a 1.5 mile radius. The nation's largest gun rights lobby called Friday for armed police officers to be posted in every American school to stop the next killer waiting in the wings. The National Rifle Association broke its silence Friday on la last week's shooting rampage at a Connecticut elementary school that left 26 children and staff dead. The NRA said the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. They also blame video games, movies, and music videos for exposing children to a violent culture day in and day out. Well, as we've been talking about, it's been a little bit over a week when Sandy Hook Elementary School faced an unimaginable horror of a gunman entering their campus and killing 26 people. All around the world, schools are reevaluating their security policies. News 46 told you about an assumed threat that Nye County Sheriffs had been investigating and found to be invalid. Last week, the Nye County School District left a message for Prompt Valley High School parents with more information regarding that. Superintendent Dale Norton has said that they are taking all precautions in this case, but that the rumor is just that, a rumor. Hello, this message is from the Nye County School District for parents in the Pahrumpa Tenants area. The Nye County Sheriff's Office and Nye County School District have heard the rumors being circulated by students of threats of violence on 12-21-12 at Pahrump Valley High School. A joint investigation revealed that there is no credibility to these statements. However, as always, preemptive measures have been taken by the school district and the sheriff's office personnel to ensure the safety of students. Thank you. It was really good that uh, the Knight County Sheriff's Office put a lot of security in the schools, especially on uh, December 21st, where they were getting a lot of uh, rumors saying that something was going to happen in Prompt Valley High School. Absolutely. We've seen far too many mass shootings this year, and we can't take any chances. Yeah, they did a good job in that, securing that. But I heard a lot of kids didn't make it to school on Friday. Yeah, well, better safe than sorry, I suppose. There you go. All right, well, we're going to have more after the break, so please keep it here.